Hello dear friends, welcome again to my YouTube channel Geotechnical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Today I will be discussing with you all about injection and grouting as soil improvement method. Injection of chemicals, lime, cement etc. into subsoil improves subsoil by formation of bonds between soil particles. Mechanical stabilization of the soil can also be achieved by grouting under high pressure. Now, particulate grouting, chemical grouting, pressure injected lime grouting, displacement grout, electrokinetic injection and jet grouting and jet grouting are the few methods of soil improvement suggested in an X-ray under 4 volt and clause 6.1.6.1 of the Indian Standard Code IS 13094-2021 Selection of Ground Improvement Techniques for Weak Soils guidelines first revision <clears throat> so these are few of the ground improvement methods suggested for improving the ground by grouting methods now this is the table comparative table and chart of the grouting methods that the that is the jet grouting methods but in which the headings are given as method principle most suitable soil conditions types, maximum effect, effective treatment depth. <laughs> Particulate grouting, penetration grouting, fill soil pores with soil cement and or clay. It is suitable for medium to coarse sand and gravel and the effective treatment depth is unlimited. Chemical grouting, in which we use solutions of two or more chemicals which react in soil pores to form a gel or a solid precipitate. These are suitable for medium and coarse acids and the effective treatment depth is unlimited. Pressure injected lime. Lime slurry injected to shallow depths under high pressure, suitable for expensive clays and it can be treated for unlimited depth but usually it is being done for 2 to 3 meter depth. Displacement grout. Highly viscous grout acts as radical hydraulic jack when pumped in under high pressure. It is suitable for soft fine grained soils, foundation soils with large voids or cavities. Effective treatment depth is unlimited but a few meter usually is done. Electrokinetic injection, stabilizing chemicals moved into soil by electroosmosis process or colloids into pores by electrophoresis is this is defined as electrokinetic injection and is suitable for saturated cells, silty clays, clean sands in case of colloid injection. That effective treatment depth is usually unknown in this very case. <laughs> now the jet grouting. In this high speed jets at depth excavates and removes the soil matrix by breaking it down and then inject and mix a stabilizer with soil to form columns or parents. These columns can be circular cylindrical columns is suitable for sand, sand, sand clays that is all kind of soils and effective treatment depth can be achieved as required. <laughs> now at last I will discuss with you all about the lime stabilization method. Why? Because it is the easiest of the methods for ground improvement. Lime stabilization is achieved by two ways depending upon the nature of the soil, thickness of a strata, depth of a strata etc. Mixing of lime with clay is generally resorted to when the thickness of layer is small and clay is available at shallow depths. Lime column technique may be adopted at locations where soft clay extends to greater depths. The lime reacts with soil and increases its functional properties thus decreasing the compressibility of the soil which in turn what actually effects is ki after the application of load on a particular soil it decreases your settlement that is usually you would be able to find your settlement within the specified permissible limits. So dear friends this is all which I wish to explain you all in this lecture of mine. Hope you would have loved this lecture. Keep on subscribing to my YouTube channel Geotechnical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Thank you. Thank you very much.